G'day guys, Scotty here, back with another little video about Dyneema and winching. Normally when you buy a winch rope, they come like this. This one's just a uh, quarter inch Dyneema rope, I think 5mm or something like that it said on the, on the page. Um, whatever size they are, they come like this. And they'll usually have a, a metal thimble at one end and one of these little jobbies at the other end crimped on there something like that something along those lines and if you buy a winch that's already got one uh, dynamo rope attached to it it's usually got one of these and that's a little grub screw be holding that thing in and that's all that holds it onto the drum and uh you're like me at some point while you've been doing recoveries you'll pull your winch rope out and you get to the end and then I'll just pull the rope out from inside that little swage and that's rather annoying um, so I'll show you in the next little video on what to do with that but for this video I'm going to show you what you should do with that and why you should not have that on there one of the well probably the most important thing about Dornema rope as opposed to steel wire rope for winching is that this stuff is safe much much safer than steel wire rope if steel wire rope snaps and recoils it will tear you to shreds if this stuff breaks and recoils it just flops on the ground and that doesn't do anything however if you're attached to metal things like if you've got well they normally these come with this came with a big hook on the end of it normally they come with a hook on the end of them if you've got a big metal hook on the end of your winch rope and your anchor point for some reason lets go for whatever reason it might uh, it might be a little rock in there or a stick might have a little sharp spot and it might cut your dynema or your uh, your tree strap or whatever you're using whatever you're connected to whatever the case may be if your anchor point lets go and that hook recoils even though this rope is dynamic and it doesn't weigh anything and it'll just flop on the ground that metal hook and this piece of metal will come flying back at you and that will hurt okay. slings and dyneema and stuff it's lightweight if you get hit by it if you get hit by soft shackles it feels like getting smacked in the face by a toddler if you get hit by a the, a shackle or a metal hook from the recoil of your winch rope it feels like getting smacked in the face by Tyson with a metal glove and you won't be lasting much longer so you want to get rid of metal I'll show you what you can do with this you have a winch rope with just an eyelet without the metal hook with a soft shackle connected to a, a sling around your tree there's no metal in the equation at all nothing can kill you or kill anyone else around all right much safer so that's the main reason why we're all switching towards dynamo rope yeah it's light it's easy to use but the main thing is the safety of it all right so this metal hook let's get rid of it first i'll uncoil this rope so we can we can work for this i'll do that off camera Righto, magic. The rope is uncoiled. Righto, here's what you got to do with this metal, metal thimble. I'll show you right now the best thing to do with that. Beautiful. Bingo. Now if you've got a bin nearby, chuck that metal thimble straight in that bin. I'll show you something else to throw in the bin. Rope protection. This black stuff on the outside is more of a hindrance than a help. If you were to pull this rope through a pulley, it's just going to bind up and get caught. Going back into your drum, it just binds up on the fair lead and gets caught. More of a hindrance than a help. I'm having a bit of trouble. It's more of a hindrance getting the thing off, too. Look at this. Give it a bit of a yank. There we go. Go on, chuck that straight in the bin. 
I don't know. And we've got this this uh, splice here now to save me a bit of rope. I'm just going to pull the splice out rather than try to just you know, rather than just cut it off. I'm going to stuff around and get this splice out. Just got to separate the rope here where it's sort of melted itself back together. Let's pull it apart. There we go, right -o. so we've got it apart here now. Pull that out of there. That's the locking splice, and then we pull that piece out from the inside, chuck that in the bin. Now you just got the end of a rope like that. Beautiful. Now we're going to splice this back into itself. We have a loop splice with no stupid rope protection because this stuff with just a soft shackle through there doesn't damage each other okay so you don't need that stupid rope protection it just causes you more problems than it's worth all right oh. now you want to get yourself well it depends on the thickness of the rope this is just thin stuff so that's probably plenty all right now at this end i need to attach this to a pen or a pencil So here, a bit of a bit of sticky tape. If I can find the end, I've got to fold it over on itself there to make it easier. But I'm still struggling. What the hell? Here we go. Oh, no, a bit of sticky tape. That's all I need. Cut that off. There you go. Now I'm just going to attach this bit of rope to my pencil, my lead pencil. Fold the end over so hopefully I can un un uh, undo it easier. Right know. Yeah, we want to get our bit of length, work out how long we want it again, somewhere about there. We want to work out the size of the loop we want to make, so about there, something we can manage. And then this, not the tail with the pencil, the other tail, you want to just push the rope together, open it up, and then you get the pencil with a nice rounded tip on it, and you poke it straight through to the other side. There we go. Now, you sort of want to make sure you're even either side. So you want to count these strands. Looks like this side's missing one. You want six because it's 12 strand dyneema. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got it even there. There's six. I'll just double check. Uh, mm -hmm, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got it even, right? So you just pull your pencil all the way through there, get your loop to about the size you want it, something manageable. Not too big because you're just wasting rope, but not too small because you want to get the knot of a soft shackle through it. So something like that's probably pretty handy. You just hold that there. And then the end with your pencil attached to it, you'll do the same thing. So just open the rope up there. And now you can use your pencil make the hole and then you want to make it sort of loose-ish loosen it up a bit so you got a bit of a bit of a hole through there again just make sure you've got six strands either side I can tell I've got it even now I can feel that it's even right oh now here you got to get the other end of the rope so being a 15 meter rope just give me a sec here on the other end now oh, we got damn rope protection on there again anyway I'll get rid of that later on so I want to send this end of the rope through the hole out the other side Oops, the burrs on it 
damn rope protection getting in the way. And then we gotta feed that all the way through. side all right so now we got it locked off it can't it can't undo itself right so you got the tail with the pencil that that will hold pretty good but it'll gradually feed its way down and undo this rope but that's enough that's locked off some people get excited and they want to do that twice you can do that if you want what I like to do is just is just open this piece up again and feed the pencil back through there again a second time. Get back open there. Once again, you want to get it even. I think I've nailed it. And then you just pull it straight through a third, so it's through a third time. And it's definitely not going to go anywhere. Now next, same with the, the long tail. You just want to open that up, give it another little bit of a gap, open it up again. Now this time we're going to feed the pencil down the inside of the rope. So you want to just go halfway through the rope, like that, just poke it in there like that, and then just start feeding the rope. It just opens up like that, it's pretty cool. And it just feeds on it like that. And we just keep going with that. Pencil's probably a little bit thick to use as a tool for such small rope, but if you can find a smaller pencil of some sort or something like that, then use that, but it works. And, you know, everyone's got a pencil. A lead pencil. I don't know what you're thinking. So just keep feeding that on there like that. Keep feeding it through. down the inside of the main piece of rope. Now, whatever you do, don't go trusting manufacturers and people selling recovery gear and whatever. They'll, they'll sell you all sorts of Gucci little cute hooks and things painted yellow and red and make you think they're rated and safety and all that sort of garbage. Just a sales pitch. Half the stuff they send, sell you, you don't need. You don't need those fancy hooks. You just need an eyelet at the end of the uh, end of your rope and then a soft shackle and then your tree protector that's all you need no fancy hooks those hooks dangling out the front of your of your four wheel drive out of your winch all they do is just get bashed on things just get rid of them all right we pull that end out like that pull the tape off and then from the end where the loop is, we just pull it tight. And the outside, we just pull it tight again. So now the the end, the tail end, is tucked inside the rope here. We have a nice, neat splice. Now, the end of the rope, you can taper it. You can pull a bit, couple of strands back, so there's not like a, just a sub, sudden end, sudden thicker part of the rope. Where this stuff's not critical, it's not real critical. So. It's just a little neat thing you can do. That's fine. That's much better. Now all you need on the end of that is your soft shackle. You put your soft shackle through the through the loop. Put that straight onto your tree protector or whatever you're connecting to. Connect it on like that. Start winching. Away you go. No metal parts. 100% safe. If anything breaks, it's not going to kill you or anybody. All right? That's the best thing to do with the end of your winch rope. Cheers for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Next video, I'll show you what to do with the other end of the rope onto your winch drum. Cheers.